Good morning, VC. Rock Chica here. I know it's been a while since I've posted an actual vinyl video, but I'm uh, here to show you what I picked up in the great state of Colorado. So here we go. Uh, playing in the background right now, we have uh, the guitars of Tom Tedesco. He is uh, part of what they would call the Wrecking Crew. Absolutely love Tom Tedesco, Tommy Tedesco. And I was so happy to find this. Uh, picked this up at Second Spin in uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, they're kind of like a Hastings type store. I guess they do both new and used vinyl, uh, CDs, t-shirts, toys, things like that. So found a few things and this one was um, $4.99 on the used vinyl. So. There you go. Next thing I picked up at the store was uh, David Lindley. And uh, this was a little bit different than what I expected. This is a little more reggae style than your uh, surf type rock. So David Lindley. Again, this one was $4.99 on their uh, used vinyl. I want to say there was a, a little bit of a discount on that. So we have uh, Jackson Brown producing it. There you go. Also picked this up out of their clearance section, uh, the Black Eyed Peas 12 inch single of Hey Mama. And this is the uh, iPod commercial remix. $2.99. Then I was uh, pretty excited to find this. Rockin' Christmas, the 60s. And this is off of Rhino Records, uh, Rhino number 67. And this has a, this one was a little bit more, $9.99, but again, I'm pretty sure there was a discount on these. And uh, this has the Trash Man, Paul Revere and the Raiders, Aretha Franklin, Bobby Boris Pickett, and the Crypt Kick Kickers. The Whalers, James Brown, uh, Christmas Spirit, Santo and Johnny, Nathaniel Mayer, The Turtles, The Poets, Barry Richards, and The Sonics. So, if many of y'all will remember The Sonics had a Record Store Day release uh, this past April, I'm, if I believe, remember correctly. Now, these came from a thrift store uh, outside of Denver as we were headed out into the mountains. Carl Perkins. Still in the shrink. On the Sun record label. There you go. And uh, I believe this came out in the 70s sometime. So, and there's a lifetime guarantee on this record. How do you like that? Next up, Al Kyola, King Guitar. He is also a studio guitarist and uh, played on all sorts of different releases with all sorts of different uh, artists. Al Kyola. There you go. And these I believe were a dollar pretty much unless they were marked. Uh, another Carl Perkins Country Western Series Tennessee starring Carl Perkins. We have a guest here in the studio today. You might hear in the background. Then I found this, which I thought was pretty exciting. A net on campus with the Wellingtons and the All-American Chorus. So, little va va voom action there. What, Lucy? I'm sorry, Kitty. This one wasn't the greatest of shape, but it cleaned up pretty good. It's there on the Vista record label. 
and it is a gatefold. Let's take it out for you. There you go. There are the Wellingtons. They do a lot of different fight songs. Uh, you got Pennsylvania, Army, Navy, Yale, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, so. Texas, the eyes of Texas are upon you. And this is in the UCLA band Helped. So I'm guessing she was at UCLA. Thought that was a pretty cool pickup for my Disney record collection. Also found this, Colorado Rocks. So this has all sorts of local Colorado bands. 96 FM, KPKE. I haven't listened to this one yet. Um, I'm guessing this was in the 80s when this came out. So maybe some of you uh, Colorado VC members might recognize some of these bands. Uh, Billy Ryan Band, Greg Newbel, Renegade, The Jets, The Got Rocks, Razor's Edge, Stiff Water, Magician, Randy Rock, and Alloy Czar. And it also came with this uh, paper. Which is kind of funny. Alma pot bust explodes with sides issues. I guess uh, that wouldn't be an issue today. And this is uh, 1983. So I'm guessing that's when the record came out. Really haven't gone through the paper yet. So maybe there's a little bit of uh, information on the album here, but I'll look at that later. So, anyhow. Colorado Rocks. <clears throat> also found this, the Earl Slick Band. Uh, Earl Slick's kind of in the line of, um, well, the Stray Cats. This one was $4.99 there at the thrift store. So. There we go. And the last record that I found that I picked up is Limbo Rock, played by the writer Billy Strange with the Tell Stars. And this is pretty much a 12 inch single. <clears throat> a lot of Limbo Rock. And it's just two songs, one on each side. Pretty plain. label there but that's it one on one side and one on the other I don't know if this is the first 12 inch single um, I know I heard a story on a Netflix movie the other day <clears throat> with regard to a 12 inch single that Supposedly it started in the 1970s during the disco era. Not sure if that's entirely true, but this one I'm pretty sure it came out. Uh, this is 1962, so we'll have to do some research. Uh, also stopped in at Twist and Shout Records in Denver off of Colfax. Great record store. If you're ever there, you need to check it out. Uh, Corey. That's uh, definitely one for your uh, record stores across America list. Uh, so I picked up some CDs uh, since I really didn't want to haul around a whole lot of vinyl on my trip. And I picked up the new release from Bad Bad Not Good. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bad Bad Not Good, they are a modern jazz band I guess you'd say 
and uh, they do all sorts of interesting stuff. I first heard them on my local jazz station, KTRU, uh, Trinity University's jazz station, and they kind of uh, caught my attention. So when I heard that they had a new release coming out, I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. The Vinyl Geek also gave this thumbs up, and when I talked to the girl at the record store, she also said that this was well on the way of being her favorite for 2016. Uh, very interesting. I, I do like it. There's one track on here that I don't really care for, and that's the one that's a little more rap. influence so really great good listen very interesting um, I would definitely say check it out also picked up the new Jeff Beck and this also is totally different from what he usually does uh, has a lot of electronic but from what I told what I'm told there's no electronics on this record so I really have to do a little bit more research my husband's more familiar with how this got made etc but really really good awesome Jeff Beck album the thing I love about Jeff Beck is he always has women in his band if they're bass players or drummers or what have you, he always finds the best. And this, this really rocks. But it's not your 70s Jeff Beck. This is definitely new. So if you're a Jeff Beck fan, pick it up. But just be forewarned, this is not the 70s Jeff Beck. You'll like it. And then I also picked this up. This is a new release from Bunny Carlos of uh, Cheap Trick fame. Greetings from Bunnyzuela. Uh, I already broke the CD case. Here's the uh, CD. And there he is in the back. Thought that was a pretty cool picture. This is a really great, um, really great record. A lot of fun. I would say a perfect soundtrack for the summer awesome for cruising down the road in a convertible this has a little bit of uh, smithereens sound beatles sound monkey sound um, so if you like that type of music I mean it's just a lot of fun uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers type sound I would highly recommend it so um, pick up Bunny Carlos. A lot of fun. It's a fun record. And then, then I also picked up The Bad Plus. This is different from the Bad Bad Not Good. Okay, so we have Bad Bad Not Good and this is The Bad Plus. This is a 2003 release. Uh, these are the Vistas. Again, I heard them on my local jazz station. And uh, what caught my my ear when I was listening to them, they played, let's see, where is it? Smells Like Teen Spirit. So they do a cover, Smells Like Teen Spirit on this. They also do a cover of Heart of Glass. So very interesting interpretations, really great. Um, so if you like jazz, or if maybe you don't like jazz and you want to try to dip your toe in there, try these guys. They've, they have all sorts of uh, CDs out. Highly recommend it. The Bad Plus. Also picked up uh, Gold Frap, We Are Glitter. This is remixes of uh, a lot of her other songs. And Satin Chic, Ooh La La, you know, pretty much all of her hits. And these are all remixed really good. So if you're a Goldfrapp fan, pick that up. Uh, these came from a thrift store near um, Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Yes, kitty. Uh, Simply Red, Greatest Hits. 
Pearl Jam. Didn't have this on CD, so I thought I'd pick this up. Yeah, a little pricey for CD, but it's in good shape. Uh, Joan Osborne. Punk Uprising Volume 2. This is really cool. This has um, all sorts of different bands on here. So really have to sit down and listen to this one day. And then also got Punkorama Volume 6. This has 2001 on it. And Gutter Mouth, No FX, uh, Pennywise with Xene, Rancid, Death by Stereo, Dropkick Murphys, Beat Sticks, Voodoo Glow Skulls, so all sorts of goodies on this. Also picked up Neil Young and Promise of the of the Real. Not familiar with this album. Uh, the Mon the Monsanto Years. So pretty cool great fold there. Double C D. So haven't listened to this yet, so I really don't know what it's like. And then, uh, last but not least, picked up uh, La Super 7. Heard it on the X. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Super 7, this is pretty much a super group. And you have all sorts of people on here. You have Freddie Fender, Lyle Lovett, Joe Ely, Rodney uh, Rodney Crowell, Raul Malo, Rick Trevino, Delbert McClinton, Ruben Ramos, so uh, Clarence Gatemouth Brown. This has uh, pretty much Texas musicians on it. Uh, let's kind of look through here real quick, see if there's a picture. Uh, Talk to Me is a Sunny in the Sunliners, which is a San Antonio band from back in the 60s and uh, they did a cover of that and it's both in English and in Spanish again I haven't really looked at this yet so or haven't listened to it either so So you have Freddie Fender, Delbert McClinton, Ruben Ramos, Rick Trevino, you have Doug Som, Doug Som, no, sorry, not Doug Som, and I think the record ended. So anyhow, um, there you go, those are my pickups, and uh, nice to see you VC, I'll try to do another one of what I've been spinning lately, and um, what I've picked up lately. So thanks again. Bye.